When in West Cork, one thing you have to tick off the itinerary is a visit to Hare Island. This island is a little piece of heaven, tucked away in a corner of Roaring Water Bay. But it's not the landscape or the beautiful gardens that we've travelled to Hare Island for. You see, here on the island is a unique experience, something you don't want to miss if you're coming to this part of Ireland. You see, this is your chance to learn to bake with one of, well, Ireland's expert bakers and I tell you what, the whole experience is absolutely fantastic. It's the Firehouse Bakery. I'm going to check it out. Run by chef and baker Patrick Ryan, the Bread School opened in 2012 and it offers a hands-on baking experience where you can bake your very own handmade bread in a wood-fired clay oven. Patrick, there's nothing quite like fresh bread, but I'm really fascinated about the whole process of making it because you guys have narrowed it down, haven't you? Bread um, is in, it literally requires four ingredients. Right. Flour, salt, water, yeast. So what we've got here, we've got 500 grams of strong flour. Yep. So first thing up, uh, we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt. Brilliant. So salt's quite an essential ingredient. Uh, just a teaspoon. Right, yeah. That's it. Let's mix it straight through. Right, okay. To add a bit of richness into our dough, we're going to add some olive oil. Okay. So, in a good spoonful. You're looking probably about two tablespoons, about 50 mils. Lovely. Right. And with this one, we're going to use some fresh yeast. Yeah. First time I ever made bread was with fresh yeast. That's, that's what I tend to use. Yeah. Personally, I feel it's got a bit of a nicer flavour. Here, we're, we're using 10 grams of fresh, which would be the equivalent of about five grams of dried. Okay, so, so you're looking at about. That's about, about 10 grams, yeah. 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 yeah, all you can do is simply just crumble it straight okay. in. Yeah. All we're going to add now is 300 mils of water. Only yeah. 300 mils. So now we, what you need to do is what we call kneading. Um, yeah. So pretty much gluten only forms in flour once you add a liquid to it. So the idea of kneading is you simply stretch the dough. There's a fair amount of effort goes into this kneading process, isn't there? Yeah, well, most recipes will suggest that you knead for about eight to 10 minutes. Yep. Most of them are line. Right. Uh, it's usually about 12 to 14. So <laughs> Keep we, going, mate. So we could just well, leave them to it, but yeah. we won't be that cruel today. So I literally have one here that we've done just over 10 minutes ago. So yeah, we finished our kneading. We've left our dough to prove. Yep. An hour and a half later, it's gonna look something like this. So it's it should double, double the size. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So what we need to do now, we're gonna knock our dough back and we need to portion it so we can put it into rolls, get ready for our pizza bases. Yep. So I find 200 grams is perfect size for a little pizza base, give you a good 12 inch base. Okay. So quite generous for at home, yep. working really ideal. So again, you're gonna roll your dough, 200 grams, and let it prove again for another hour. Okay, oh, wood fired pizza oven, this looks great, mate. Ooh. Yeah, this, this is our baby. Okay, so uh, what are we gonna do here? Yeah, so our dough is ready to go. We're okay. gonna take one out, straight onto the counter. Okay. I'll get this out of your way. All right. What, what next? next? Bit of so flour? Bit of flour down, and we're gonna roll out our pizza bases. Okay. Oh, get a load of that. Now, that didn't take long. No, that's a proper fast food. A minute and a half, wood fired. Fantastic. Done. Fresh ingredients. Look, Patrick, I've learned a few things today from you, but of course, it's not just about pizzas. Back off, Kim. It's not just about pizzas. It's it's about great bread. It's it's about baking. It's the experience. It's yeah. kind of getting a boat, getting your hands dirty, getting involved, and pretty much back to basics. And people could stay on the island, can't they? They can do. They can stay with us. Um, so you can make a whole weekend of it. Oh, this yeah. is a great experience. Now, the other thing is that if they can't make it to Ireland, they can get your book because it's in Australia. They can indeed. It was an Australian publisher. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll make sure we we uh, we publish it. Oh, all right. Go on. Okay, right here. Here we go. One, two. How many slices are you doing, Kim? Well, look, I thought I was going to be really hungry and make ten, but I think I'm not really as hungry, so I'll only cut it into eight. I'm surprised you cut it at all. You go. All right. Okay, lads. Look at that. That is so good. All right, mate. There's only one thing to do. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Let's go. Woohoo! Mmm. Good. That's bloody good.